What is up my beautiful humans, Andy Valentine here and today we're going back into Fusion 360 to look how to make horns for your cosplay in two really quick and simple steps. Let's do it! So creating horns, you're not going to believe how easy this is. Let's start with a circle at the bottom as the base of a horn which is 60 millimeters across. Obviously the size is going to depend on what you're making, what your horns look like. From this point, we'll create a side profile, like a line straight down to use as a tether. And then using the fit point spline, we'll make a basic horn shape. Um, and then I'm gonna use that bottom line with the tangent tool, just to ensure that as it comes straight out, it comes straight out. So as you can see here, it's gonna have quite a sharp bend at the start. So I might want to just, you know, reduce that bend slightly. There we go. So that's how my basic horn's gonna look. I'll get rid of this when I don't need it afterwards. Then we're gonna create a sweep. A sweep basically says take a shape, um, basically a profile and get it to follow a path. So this is the path it's going to follow. Dun, dun, dun. You can see where we're going from here. Then we're gonna use the taper option as part of that sweep. And it's gonna be something probably about minus five or minus six or maybe more than that. Oh, it's much more. And just play with that value until it reaches a point. So let's say minus 10 is close enough. So that's a very, very basic horn done in two steps. Um, now, obviously you might want to make the horn shape a little bit more interesting. So what we could do is take the, uh, take the sketch values and move them about. So if I shifted this one backwards, um, it would give it a little bit more of a kind of a third dimension and a little bit of a twist in there. Same as if I, you know, took this one here and brought it forwards a bit. It will then automatically follow those through and apply those things to the horn. But what if we want something that's just, you know, a little bit more interesting looking, but you know, it's, it's not just a circular horn. What we could do is on the bottom plane again is draw a new shape. We're gonna start with a square this time. Let's do it 50 by 50 millimeters. Copy and paste, put the pivot in the middle and rotato by 45 degrees. So we've got this eight point star, finish that sketch and then take these nine profiles Again, create a sweep of those nine profiles along this path and taper in. So let's, it was minus 10. I've got a feeling it's probably gonna be smaller now. Yeah, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's, let's, let's go for that. Doesn't need to be to an exact point. Um, that's fine. But what it might make this even more interesting is the twist. So we could put, say, a 200 degree twist in there. And if you're creating like fawns or that kind of mythical fantasy shape, it will automatically add those in. And that number can be really high. So we could add 2000 in there and it would just create lots and lots of twists. Obviously, depending on the power of your computer, it will sometimes take a little bit of time as it is doing now in order to calculate that twist. Yes, yeah, maybe a little bit too high, but it's good if you wanted to create like a, th a threaded horn, I guess. Um, yeah, something in the kind of three or four hundreds, probably better for a design like this. So once you've confirmed that, you've got your, your new horn. Now, obviously there are some shapes or styles that it has a little bit of a problem with, but you know, you can just play around with it to get what you want. But really that's that's the basis. And then obviously you're probably gonna want to mirror this in order to make sure your opposite horn is exactly the same, but that's an easy enough thing to do. So there you go, shape, align, and sweep. That's all you need. You know where the like and subscribe is. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Laters.